Welcome back trailer enthusiasts. Today we're working on this little uh, utility trailer. I've already done some work because you guys weren't here, aka my camera wasn't around. But now that it's back, um, so I got this patch I put in here, the piece of tubing that sits right here that this round stock slides into to lock the gate up was torn out. And as a result, it ripped this out. So I've actually put a piece of inch and a half by three inch square bar, uh, square bar welded in there. And now I just gotta cut some tubing and weld that on to match that side that the ground strap is hooked to. Uh, ground clamp, I mean. So I'll get that welded on and then uh, I'm gonna go trade this trailer for another one that needs some work done, so. Wow, that bungee's pretty tough. So I've cut off this piece of uh, 7 8 round stock to three inches. Just slide it right up this guy, like so. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna give it a tack weld right where it sits. hard to tack and have you guys right there and all these cords here looks like it's time for me to organize a little bit better my workspace more current. Get out of my shadow out of the way so it's not the prettiest of welds but it'll hold so and get this trailer out of here and go get the other one this is our second trailer it's a 10,000 pound uh, rated 18 foot long flatbed um, anyways you can see these ramps right here they've got lips on them to hook onto something here but there's nothing there to hook on to so we're gonna weld a piece of square stock on here so that when they grab onto that, the ramps can't slide on or off. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a grinder and we're gonna clean off all of this truck bed coating on here, at least where we need to weld on. And then uh, we'll weld some half inch square bar stock on there and uh, throw some paint on it, we'll be done. This will be a real quick one. Hey, before you overheat, I better show you this. You guys have shut off about six times now. 7018 lays a prettier bead. That first trailer I was welding 6010 on. Um, just because 7018 gets too hot and burns around that thinner stuff, but you get a much prettier bead with 7018. So, 
Anyways, short video. Hopefully you like it. Thanks for watching.